SSME videos, search and subject matter expert videos. These are another type of video that you should be considered doing. These are videos that you are going to sprinkle across your social media, add onto your website, add to your YouTube channel, and then make sure that when you add them to your YouTube channel, you do all the search engine optimization steps because Google loves video. So when you are searching for a solution, again, people are online, they have problems, they are putting in you know, their question to their problem, you want your videos to then populate. And so that's what makes them search and then subject matter experts to highlight, you know your stuff. And so what are the types of videos that fit in an SSME? Well, those can be your frequently asked questions. Think if this person was an alien, They've never been uh, through any type of home buying or home selling process. Although it might seem like second nature to you of what the various steps are when you're buying or when you're selling your home, think about someone who might be brand new in that process. And so break down those processes. And then, you know, what are you getting hand cramps or what do you feel like you're just a broken record repeating all the time? Uh, anything that you feel like you've sent the same email at least twice, that means it should become a video. Because again, what did we say in the beginning of the session? People retain 95% of the information given in a video. And so that means if they're not quite getting it, or if you're realizing people don't quite understand a particular process, then you should put it in a video form where people will actually retain it. Uh, what are the common processes? Like I said, the home buying process. I know there's some several steps to it. What are those processes? What are some definitions that are just second nature to you, but maybe not to everyone else? You know, I know in my industry, B-roll. Every time you mention B-roll, a lot of people just kind of feel very confused. What does that mean? And then, you know, it, it's a sign, okay, yes, we need to discuss that it's secondary footage accompanied with a voiceover. You want to educate people. What's seasonal? You know, right now it's so fun. It's, you know, Halloween. And so you can do tips on, you know, how much decoration should you put out when you're listing your home? The same thing when it comes to Christmas time and other holidays that come up. Um, what are tips to help keep your, you know, curb appeal with your lawn in the hot summer heat in Arizona? What are some of those seasonal things that you can even think ahead about? You don't have to produce that video in the midst of the season. You can always plan to produce that video when you have time in your calendar and then have it ready and already scheduled to post it at those particular times. That is one thing I really do advocate is, you know, have a plan in mind. What are your end goals? Where do you want to post to? When do you want to post to it? And then backtrack your calendar. Look in your calendar and put in your calendar pre-production days. Like today I'm going to spend X amount of hours scripting. Today I'm going to spend X number of hours recording video. And then that way you're, you're never behind the eight ball. You can always have an arsenal of videos to use for your marketing and you're never rushing to try to create videos. What is uh, around your area of focus? And so what that also means is beyond just real estate, you know, we all have other hobbies and passions too. And so, you know, maybe you're a gardener, you know, what are some gardening tips that you can discuss? That has still a play on real estate in your home because it's about curb appeal too. And so this again shows that you are a subject matter expert. And again, that searchability. What's it like to live in Arizona? best months of Arizona, you know? There's so many different things that people are searching on a daily basis that you then have that potential to get found in that search and to just build that trust with someone. Excellent. Anything else you wanna discuss about with the, does everyone understand the power of just these short videos? And these really should be short videos. And so the average retention span of people these days has gone way down. Really, if you don't attract someone's attention in the first 10 seconds, you lost them. And really anything that you share, unless it's something that needs to be detail oriented, it really should be said in about a minute or less. Because think about it too. Instagram, one minute. You know, it's, it's limited to one minute. Yes, they have IGTV where you could go up to an hour if you needed to, but just on your normal scroll, you're limited to a minute. And so we talked about pre-production and the importance of that with scripting. 
when you're scripting your SSME videos, and if you wanna keep them to be that one minute long, then what you wanna do is have about 150 words. Now, granted, that's gonna vary on your speed style. You know, I am, like I said, from the East Coast, I'm recovering East Coaster. I've been trying to slow down my pace. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> so I promise I, I used to be way faster at talking, <laughs> you know, because in New York, you know, I should have been there yesterday, right? And so what you wanna do is work with 150 words and then practice. How long did it actually take you and your natural speed to say it and then make those adjustments? 